Okay, so this is going to be a deck review. Um, the Antique Anatomy Tarot Ephemera Edition. This is created by Claire Goodchild, also known as Black and the Moon. Um, you can find her on um, Instagram. And she is actually also the creator of a couple other decks that I own that you guys have seen many times in my videos. Um, one of them being the Arcana um, of Astrology. So these are those beautiful planets, um, those cards that I use, Oop, they're all upside down, <laughs> that I use, especially in my readings, well, they're all topsy-turvy, but she's the creator of that deck, as well as, and this one you guys have seen me use all the time, the beautiful um, Oracle of Oddities. So I have the first, second, and third edition. These are, oh, they're so amazing. And um, this is an amazing Oracle deck. So you could still get your hands on the second, um, I think the second and third edition, or maybe it's just the third, I'm not too sure. But those, and she also created the Compendium of Constellations. So this is like a deck of 80 something cards. And you have all these gorgeous um, constellations and simple keyword and it's just oh it's so I love these cards so she created all of these and of course when she put out that she was taking pre-orders for this um, um, antique anatomy tarot she actually has um, this is like the second edition the first edition is a, is way different um, but yeah I had to jump on that so I'm not going to show you guys all of the cards because that would be a ton of cards to go through I'm just going to show you just a couple but basically it comes with a little guidebook there was a typo in the guidebook where not all of the major arcanas were listed so there was like a couple of them that were left out but you know, I mean if you read tarot you really don't need the guidebook but it's nice to have so it's cute the box is just a basic tuck box, um, real thin cardboard, nothing spectacular, really simple. I love putting her decks in, in little bags once I find a, the perfect bag for it. So, And then we have the cards. So the backs are um, like a black color and they have this beautiful design on the backs. So you can't tell if it is upright or reversed. So I kind of like that because, um, well actually, let's see, this is upright. I guess you could tell, I mean, if you pay attention to this little figure here, but I don't really, I don't pay attention to that. <laughs> so those are the card backs. The size is basically the same as the Oracle of Oddities. I'm gonna move my candle because that's making me a little nervous. Like, I don't want to, um, risk lighting my cards on fire <laughs> okay um the backs are about the same size of the oracle of oddities so um basically they it's a really nice size for the hand you can shuffle them easily the card stock is um it's not glossy but it's not super matte either it's just like basic card stock so you could see like there's the glare of the light um, but they photograph beautifully. That's another reason why I love her deck so much because they photograph beautifully. The cards, um, so the backs are black. The fronts are um, like a, I guess like a vintage-y antique looking, I would say like a tan color. I mean, I don't know what the basic, what the color would be, but you know, that's all of them. And then the imagery is just, beautiful some of my cards are upright some of them are reversed what is going on here usually I have them all in the same direction so I don't know what happened there anyways um okay so let's check it out so this the reason um I love this deck so much is because it'll, it'll go beautifully with the oracle of oddities for one but also because the deck has 
a, it's like a nice blend like look at the lovers it's a nice blend of morbidity and beauty so you have like the um the anatomy we have hearts we have you know um skulls and body parts and stuff and then you have the gorgeous flowers and the butterflies it's a really cool blend of the two you have the description of the card at the bottom it'll say the number so this is the lovers it's number six um, this is a major arcana card and then the minors there's elixirs um, there's coins instead of pentacles um, there's blades instead of swords elixirs is for is the cups and um, that's a coin <laughs> rods so we have rods for the wands okay um the the miners i guess you could say they are pip cards <coughs> meaning they don't have like illustrations like um how the Rider Waite would have like an image to show kind of a description of what that card would mean. Um, they're more like just kind of laid out. So you have this, the suit of elixirs. This is the seven of cups. So you have the seven elixirs here um, and they're just kind of laid out there. So it doesn't really show you what it, the card description is. Um, that's the only thing about pip cards. So not everybody is a fan of that, but I, when you're, when you get to a point, you guys, when you're reading tarot, you really don't need the imagery as much anymore because it's like you see um, the nine of swords and you already have an image of that Rider Waite image of um, the card of <clears throat> the oh, what is the nine of swords? <laughs> um, well, let's do this one. Nine of swords. Watch it'll come to me once I do it. Um, with the seven of elixirs, so you have the seven of cups in mind right away. What's that? It's the image of the person looking at the cloud with like all of these different cups filled with different items. So you kind of get a um, a image of what the the right weight version would be. At least that's how it works in my head. Like when I'm pulling the minor cards, and then you just kind of know. Like I was saying, for the Nine of Swords, um, that's always a card of, to me, um, stress. Oh yeah, that's the one of the woman sitting on the bed where all the swords are above her, like a laundry list of worries, and she can't sleep. So you don't get that image here, but you get like, you kind of get the dead flowers, you know, things are dying, and then if you're aware of the blades or the sword suit, you know it's a mental, the, suit, the swords are about your mind or your communication. So. Pip cards are a little bit more challenging, I guess you could say challenging, um, but if you are a really seasoned reader and you don't need those, then this deck, you really, really like it. Um, this is Justice. See, so I have that image of the heart versus the brain. I love it. It's like balance of that. Oh, that's so cool. I never really noticed that until right now. <laughs> um... So yeah, you guys, like these cards, are they're beautiful. Um, the Emperor. They're just so different. Uh, this is the Two of Swords. The Hierophant. I really like that one. You just get the symbol. I love it. I, I like I really really liked the hierophant in this card because um, it this is one of the cards that I dislike the most in the tarot. So and to just see simply the symbol um it's that's nice for me because i don't get the whole vibe of the hierophant you know and that's like ugh, i just i don't know it's a sore spot i don't like hierophant <laughs> um but yeah it's they're beautiful cards you guys i think that they they photograph lovely the card stock is like <clears throat> really nice it's um not too thin it's not too thick they shuffle really 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 good um you get just beautiful images okay so let's yeah my cards are all some are upright some are reversed I'll have to fix that later but let's let me show you what it looks like to shuffle so, so you could see you could totally shuffle them really really easily oops <clears throat> I'm trying a new angle with my camera so 
and you could do the bridge shuffle. You could shuffle really easily. If your hands are small, 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 you could shuffle sideways. I mean, these cards, they, they shuffle really, really nicely. Her decks are amazing. So, oh, look at the Wheel of Fortune. So I highly recommend um, her her stuff. It's, it's beautiful. You will not be disappointed. Um, <clears throat> They're also really different, you guys. Like, I mean, it's not every day you see that kind of a blend of morbid versus beauty, you know? So I, that's why I, I was so drawn to it because I've always been into, like, that kind of stuff. Look at this one. This is death. See what I'm saying? It's like, it is so morbid, but at the same time, it's beautiful. <clears throat> so you have, like, the blend of life with the flowers and then death. So, yeah, if you are looking for a deck that's different, that, you know, definitely will be a showstopper with your friends or people that you read for, I highly recommend this one. Um, <clears throat> you could find it on her um, website if you go to her Instagram. It's um, Black and the Moon. Um, you will find her stuff, but she is absolutely amazing. I love her stuff. All of her decks. If you can get a hands on all of them, they're beautiful. So yeah, that is the <clears throat> deck review of the Antique Anatomy Tarot. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, loves.